All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the good old installation channel. We're doing machinery today as part of our, our series of the day. This is a Bobcat E20 mini excavator. And you can see it has a little mini, mini boom on it, a little mini everything. It's not the tiny one, but there's something very important about this machine that y'all need to know. As you can see, it has a cab, it has framework on it. And we're always looking for power, ground, and all our wiring and trying to figure out where to mount the device. But there's something that you really need to pay attention to. You look up at this. That tag right there says, this has a rollover protection system in it. What this means is, if you drill, weld, or fasten anything to this framework on the machine, you can void the warranty on the machine. And to have this fixed, okay, first of all, if you drill or cut or weld into this, that means the customer cannot just trade this in. If the dealer sees that this warranty has been voided on the ROP system, ROPS, they, they have to make the repairs. A dealer cannot sell a machine without rollover protection in place and it cost about $25,000 to replace this whole cab. Yeah, it may not look like much, but it's 25 grand to replace this. It takes the machine out of service. Dealer can't sell it. And God forbid somebody gets hurt and there's a lawsuit, they're gonna check on this rollover protection system. And if the warranty was voided or somebody drilled or cut into it, somebody got hurt, guess what? Somebody's toast, huge liability. So with that being said, we need to figure out where we're gonna put this, right? Key switch up there. Again, the one thing I love about Bobcat, it has its own little set of tricks to it. So what I did was I opened this up and I've got a little switch right here. We open that. What it does, it releases the side door, machine access door. Okay, so here we go. We've got our engine in there, access to fuel fill and a good old telematics plug that's underneath here it's a little bit hard to see but it's in there it's supplied by bobcat it has ignition power and ground it was put in there for diagnostics and adding telematics if you want to add a gps unit to it, it has a proprietary plug and i just use posi taps to go into it to give me a three wire you're probably wondering, well, where the hell did you put the device? This thing is all metal. This is like this is super thick steel. Steel. Can we go to the side? Yeah, we probably can. Do, do we want to? Do we want to? Probably not. What I did was I actually went up and used double stick on the back of the device. It's held in place with a super uh, VHB. 3M adhesive that we like. It's for exterior trim, automotive trim, like you see on a car, chrome stripping, etc. So what I did was I cleaned the surface and got it squeaky clean, grease-free, dirt-free. Now it's stuck on there. It's perfect. I did not void the warranty because it's stuck on there with an adhesive. Remember, you could glue stuff to it all day long. Velcro, I mean, I wouldn't go with Velcro, but again, you'd stick things to it all day long. Cable runs down. Nice and neat, nice and neat inside. It's secured in here, secured inside, and that's it. So we didn't void the warranty. 30 minute install. There you go. Power ignition ground in the side. And don't forget, you have to a little bit of trickery to close these uh, close these doors. They have safety latches on them. That's the Bobcat E20 excavator, 2022-2023. Enjoy.